Greetings, everyone. This is a shot of whiskey, and we're almost at the end of this month, which means no more excuses for individuals pandering to every non-normal identity. Yay! Well, with the possible exception of avoiding certain legal consequences. Anyway, this is the final part of my response series to the gutter trash video from the landfill outlet. And these questions are, surprisingly enough, kind of fun and somewhat comparable to various MGTOW talking points. Are you ready? Why is it that you have such a large dating pool? Because there are a lot more of us than you. Even looking at the highest estimated percentages of you alpha Bishians within a generation, which is about 33% of those among millennials, that would still mean that about 67% are not. I get that you're brainwashed leftist crybabies, but I'm pretty sure that y'all can figure out that 67 is a lot bigger than 33. And keep in mind, that's the highest generation-based stat. As I mentioned, one-third of millennials describe themselves as being LGBTQ 39%. 39%. It's three times the proportion identified among the combined older adults in a generation. The earlier ones have lower percentages, which means the differences are greater. This is basic math, but in defense to these paid clowns, basic English would point out that this question has not been completed. But still a really high divorce rate. This is another case of there being two answers to one stupid question. First, we should point out that this video is nearly a decade old, coming out shortly after the Supreme Court made a decision that the left loves to abuse. As such, the subcategory of gay marriage was relatively new. According to a recently published article from Forbes, the average length of a marriage prior to divorce is eight years. Therefore, there was no stats to compare back in 2015. It was too new of a topic to make somewhat accurate comparisons. Now, nine years later, we have something. It's just what I always wanted. It's perfectly right. This paragraph is found on the Wikipedia page, Divorce of Same-Sex Couples. Pause here if you want to read this on your own. Nearly two years ago, Mediaite wrote an article regarding a study on this topic. And yes, I will provide a link to the entire article as well. I want to focus on two consecutive paragraphs real quick. This one brings up the study. Pause here if you want to read. And the next one states that American stats are most likely about the same. Basically, the difference between gay and straight divorces is practically non-existent, though perhaps with a slightly lesser number in favor of y'all. Of course, this also depends on which study one is looking at. However, separating the gays from the lesbians shows a much different picture, that lesbian marriages are far more likely to end in divorce before the eight-year mark. I can't help but wonder if these useful idiots have come to this basic knowledge and what excuses they'd have for it. Yeah, that's not gonna happen, mate. This ties into the other point. The divorce rate is as high as it is because of feminism. Of course! Feminists made divorce easier to access and for any reason that women wanted. Feminism made divorce more beneficial for women than honoring the legal agreement that they signed. Feminism told women that having an affair was good for them and their marriage. Feminism told young women that being a slut is a good thing. Feminism tricked an entire generation into believing that men are useless and that women don't have to love their husbands. Why are straight divorce rates as high as they are? Because of feminism. Why do you cheat? When I feel like he gets bored. Because it's, it's real marriage. Because it's heterosexual. Originally, marriage was a business arrangement, an investment into a family's future, often with a religious association tied to it. They were seldom about love, no matter how many fibs that magical mouse sells to our little girls. 
Tying back to the previous questions, a family cannot survive against the forces of time without the art of reproducing, which cannot be done outside of heterosexuality. I'm not going to beat this dead horse any further than I already have. If you don't get it by now, then that's on you. Why do you have to call it a gay wedding? Because that is what it is. And at the time of this video, your side pushed the topic by emphasizing the gay part as part of a political push. It's the same while being incredibly different, which is what y'all wanted. Plus, to many of us, it differentiates the basic concept of traditional marriage from this recent sodomization of thousands of years of logical tradition. Sodomy. Come on, everybody. It's just a wedding. It's just a wedding. No, it is a political agenda. It is one of many tools you leftists created as a way to punish those who do not agree with you, who do not blindly follow your religion of Lilith-inspired sin. Is it just so you can charge us more? Back when I made my initial response, I believed he said this because he was adult. Even though I still believe he is, or was, I mean, it's possible that he may have grown up a little, there is a degree of logic to his inquiry. Around the beginning of this month, YouTube recommended me a video by a guy named Ty Rivera. Even though it was a gay bar and the mob owned it, the mob would pay the police off so that they wouldn't raid the place constantly. But in exchange for that, they really jacked up the prices. Yeah, basically, one of the factors of the Stonewall issue included that the bar charged higher rates as a way to gouge the gay community. So I guess I can kind of understand, assuming that he was referencing that and wasn't just pulling random things out of thin air, as desperate people tend to do. If two black people were getting married, would you call it a black wedding? No, oh, that's stupid! Really stupid. That's stupid! You're stupid! Stop being stupid! Or maybe I'm just being rhetorical. No! No, you're not! God, it's like you just use words you hear randomly to try and sound smarter. Black is not a sexual preference. It is a skin color, one that can be traced to Africa. Comparing black weddings versus white weddings to straight weddings versus gay weddings would be like comparing apples versus oranges to fruit versus wax fruit. That said, I would call it a black wedding if that was the term being used to describe it by those involved with it, most likely because they were labeling it as such, and it probably means that it will have a lot of African cultural influences. Why do you try to set us up with the very next gay person you see? Matchmaker, matchmaker, make me a match. Find me a fine. Because I want you to be miserable. Because I hate you. <laughs> but in all seriousness, those who do not follow the MGTOW philosophy tend to believe that relationships are required for eternal happiness and value. As such, those who try to set any of you up do so because they care about you on some level and are treating you like normal people. This may be difficult for some of you generation enders to understand, but many of us who do not subscribe to your narrative have also experienced amateur matchmakers. Like it or not, you are not alone in this. I don't try to set you up with the other straight guy I know. Well, of course not, because then we wouldn't be straight. And like I said, we still have plenty of normal people in our lives who are trying to hook us up with some random woman who they claim is beautiful, but in reality they're talking about said woman's not as psychotic personality. And it wouldn't surprise me if there were some gays out there who do try to do Cupid's job. <laughs> We have Tinder or Grindr. Or, uh, what, what do you gay ladies use? Oh, we don't have one. Okay, never mind. Thank you for trying to set us up. We need help. You have to take into account the percentage of women that are interested in women. And then those. I'm just trying to tell you that no one gives a crap. It's true. And if you keep on talking, well, then I will just ignore you. 
It sounds like you two need all the help you can get. So why get mad at the few straight people who put up with your depravity? You should be thankful that anyone is willing to put up with you, let alone help you out with this problem that you have chosen to weaponize as a talking point. And we're done. For whatever reason, many of these self-defining victims want to be treated as something special and better than us normal folks. And it's not just us straight as an arrow types that are getting sick of this. There are many who are gay that are sick of this crap too. But I don't want to be treated like I'm special, especially not for something as trivial as my sexuality. I have no desire to be treated like I'm different when I feel perfectly normal. Some people might think that the pride parades encourage people to be more accepting of the community, but to be honest, I disagree. The only way you're going to reach normalcy is when you stop constantly highlighting the fact that you're different. This young lady, named Finding Sky, has a good head on her shoulders as far as I can tell, and yes, I will also provide a link to her video so that you can hear her entire 5 plus minute long argument if you want. Now that this is all finished, I'll take this time to say thanks for coming on this brief ride with me, gentlemen. I'm still intending on getting back into making shorter responses, kind of like what Ribby the Party Frog did before Brittany Venti's stupid simp fans tried to turn him into Cuisses de Grenoyer. My apologies if I said that wrong, which I probably did. The point remains, that is my plan. Unless y'all want me to focus on the BuzzFeed question video that relates to this. Did you know that July is White History Month? Um, I tend to ignore history months in general, so I wouldn't know about that one. You know, I started July as White History Month five years ago. Oh, you ago. did? Yeah. Should I or should I not? Let me know what y'all think in the comment section below. Seriously, roll credits. We're done here. Woo! Until next time, everyone, may you never forget that if you abuse alcohol, it will abuse you back.